Hey everyone, Pastor Nathan here this coming Sunday, August 7th, 2022. We're in Luke's Gospel, Luke chapter 12, 22 and following. And in, in this, Jesus gives his disciples two commands. He says, don't seek after the things of the world. Seek first the kingdom. The, the first one, he just spent some time, I mean, the, the previous reading, Pastor John talked about it on July 31st. So last weekend's reading was about the 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 devastating consequences of greed um, of, of what it what it does to to a person you know eternally as well as what what that looks like in in, in the here and now the this this weekend Jesus is saying you know here's how you combat against that here's how you guard against that um, seek first the kingdom and then he'll talk about generosity as well with this and as I'm as I'm thinking about this in preparation for the sermon for this coming weekend there's a cu- couple of thoughts come to my mind the first is um, in order to seek God's kingdom, it means we've got to kind of relinquish seeking the things that, that we think will bring us security if it's not the kingdom, if we're seeking something else, whether it's our own, our own will be done, our own kingdom to come, the Lord's prayer, sort of relinquish that. But also, we, uh, <laughs> you know, seeking the things that, that will give us the security, that will kind of you know, ease our anxiety, or at least the world tells us will ease our anxiety, you know, things like a, you know, pursuing a big bank account for its own sake, pursuing a, you know, relationships, relational sort of strength or control, um, maybe a, a, the perfect job, perfect spouse. Um, maybe we're talking about just, just, you know, worrying about like, where's the, where's food going to come from? Where's our next meal going to come from? How, how, how are we going to manage this? You know, I think about the, the, the times in which we live right now with shortages, with challenges that, that, uh, when it comes to inflation, like maybe the concern in your own household or in your own heart, um, has been like, Lord, how are we going to survive? How are we going to make it to, to, to this Jesus response and, in, in, in a, in a much, in a far poorer and more uncertain world, if we can put it that way, um, seek first the kingdom and the Lord's going to provide for you. And, and, and the examples he gives are uh, birds of the air and, and flowers of the field. He says he clothes the flowers and they don't spin or toil. They don't, they're not working hard. They're not up. They're not um, in the sen- same sense as, you know, worrying late at night about these things. And the same thing with the ravens of the field. The Lord provides for them. He takes care of them. He watches out for them. And if he does that for these, you know, what's he going to do for you? Um, so, so Jesus is saying, look, he's going to take care of you. He's going to provide for you. If you go back to the Old Testament and you look at some parallels when it comes to seeking, seeking God, seeking the kingdom, God says, seek me and live. You know, life is found. You know, abundant life, a forgiven life, a, a life in, in a restored relationship with God is found when we seek the kingdom or seek God, um, the, 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 another place in, in scripture, that's in Amos um, chapter 5, I believe. The other place that I was looking at with this is Psalm 105, where it says, Seek me, seek my presence and my strength. There is strength there. There is encouragement there when we seek the presence of God, when we look to be in the presence of his kingdom, seeking his will to be done, his kingdom to come, and his righteousness, and like what he would have done in the world. Um, and not our own kind of little kingdoms and, and, and making sure that we have what we need first and foremost. So, so all of that to say is, is to say this. Um, Jesus' command to his disciples is our encouragement still today. Seek first the kingdom. Because that's, because in seeking the kingdom, we're going to be provided for. We're going to be taken care of. It opens up our abilities to be generous in the way that the, the previous parable, the, the guy who had barns and bigger barns, um, didn't was not generous and just saying no. This just opens up to us to be generous because we're we're we're, we're storing we're stacking treasure we're storing treasure um, where you know where it won't rust or fade away an eternal treasure with God when we're seeking the kingdom and doing His will and that's where the encouragement is that's where the hope is because we're not having to worry about um, man I got to make sure I stack enough stuff up um, no we're we're, we're we, could, we could be free to to. I'll be generous with the people around us because we have a God who has been generous with us and in inviting us into his kingdom um, and encouraging us, you know, saying, hey, here's the kingdom. Seek it. Seek my will. Seek where Jesus is leading. So my question for you is this. Um, 
what are you seeking today? Are you seeking the kingdom or are you seeking something else? And if you are seeking something else, how can you seek the kingdom of God? Because that's where the promise of life, the promise of hope, joy, a future, and strength for today and hope for tomorrow are found. They're found in seeking the kingdom. They're found in the presence of Jesus, who is the kingdom. And yeah, hope that's helpful for you. We'll talk again soon. Take care.